What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to retrofit an M5 gear shifter in your G30. Now this kit is plug and play. If you were to source an M5 gear shifter from an F90, you'd have to do a lot of coding and everything would have to be transferred over. And it's just a little bit of a headache. So I prefer the plug and play kit. Now this kit works with every G30 from 2017 onwards that are 540. I've seen them work with some 550s, but it's a give or take. So it's, you can try it. If not, you can just put your old one back on. This is a fairly straightforward kit to put together. Let me show you how to do it. The tools are pretty basic. I'll link this kit down in the description below. You can get it off Amazon for like 20 bucks. It has all the basic nuts and bolt remover that you need. So on your little toolkit, you'll see a metal pick tool. Get the sharp side. We're gonna pry this plastic piece off. Just go ahead and take it and just slide it right behind the glue. Once you have that glue nice and now you can see it's starting to come out. Just put your pry tool behind the plastic piece. Just pull it off. There you go. You have three screws holding on your module to the gear shifter, and they are T8 screws. There's the first. Second one, and the bottom one is right over here. There's a third. Now we need to release our unlock button. The same T8 that you used, you put it in this little hole and you push this button outwards. Let's see if I can show you with the camera here. See, and that button should pop out. Just pull it out of place. Take your metal pick tool, go behind this trim and pop it out of place. There you go. You have to release the ribbon cable from the module. You're gonna get your little tweezers there's this little door. Just go ahead and gently open that door. And that ribbon cable should release. And now your module comes up. You have one more T8 screw right here. Remove it. There you go. Now the easy part is you simply have to pull up on this, but be very careful because the ribbon cable has to go through this piece here. So as you're pulling, just make sure you keep an eye out on that ribbon cable. So just give it a good wiggle. And there you go. And now let's get our kit. And now we do everything sort of backwards. The first thing we start out with is our leather piece here. Feed your ribbon cable straight through and you'll see a hole at the very top. Just be very gentle. Once you see the ribbon cable pointing from the top a little bit, get your tweezers and just pull it out gently. Like so, keep feeding it down while you're pulling that ribbon cable out of the way. There we go. Let's get some more. And once it's completely free, Push it all the way down. Bolt that you took off that's holding down the gear shifter is the exact same screw that's gonna go back in. So it's that same T8. There we go. Not coming off. The kit provides you with this ribbon harness. On your ribbon cable, you have 3M tape here, so it sticks to this side. So remove that. Feed it behind the ribbon cable and stick it in place like so you want to take this parking button put it in like so you want to you want to take your tweezers and open this little door once you have the ribbon cable tucked in the door just go ahead and shut it down you take your little screw kit empty it out somewhere safe you take your red piece make sure the bottom side is smaller than the top and it has holes exactly where it sits just like so and now you take your parking button and just snap it in place and there you go. This piece sits over the ribbon cable. Make sure these two clear these little holes. And then once they are, just go ahead and push it down in place. You wanna take our red trim. You have to slide it over your parking button first and then over these plastic pieces here. So go ahead and put it over your parking button and then slide it over. Clip it in place. Next, we take this guy. You'll see a little slot. This is where the ribbon cable goes around. So just make sure 
You feed that guy around, bring it back over. Push it down. See, now this piece is nice and settled. Take your module, you'll see these little four holes, line them up, push it in place. You take your button cover and you put the LED holes facing downwards. There you go. And you see the holes are sitting flush with where they're supposed to sit. Take this big piece and just set it over. Just line it up. Push it down. Take your side covers. Start with this one. Simply line it up over these two holes. Click it in place. Just like so. Do the same for the other side. The kit provides you with four T8 screws and they sit on the corner of the gear shifter. You'll feel it tighten. And you'll feel it tighten itself down. I feel it's pretty solid. All right. You have these little white pieces just for your unlock button. So just put them in place, teeth facing upwards. Take this beautiful cover, slide it in place. Make sure you get these two teeth below here. Like this. Click the top in. Take the top cover. Snap it in place. And now, moment of truth. So everything works exactly as normal. If you want to go into drive, you have to press this top button. This is your unlock button. So press it down. You're now you're neutral or drive. If you want to go into reverse, same thing. Press the button down and press all the way forward and you'll see the R shine up. If you're in neutral, it'll go to N. And if you're in drive, it'll go to drive. You can also go into sports drive transmission. You can go here, and if you look up on the dash, it'll change gears, okay? A lot of people were worrying that if you were to go into sports mode that it goes backwards, but we can sit here all day and this thing will not move a muscle. If you wanna go into park, just click the button. It'll go into park. Everything works as normal. Everything works just like OEM. I really love this shifter because I feel like it's an anti-theft device because once you install it, you can ask anybody that doesn't know this to get in your car and try to put it into drive. They will sit here and tug on this all day long and they don't know how to put it in drive. You have to press down the top button and go this way. This button doesn't do anything. It's just for show, but hey, everything's here. And the M logo lights up. It looks really cool at night when you turn everything off. Everything turns off with the car as well. There's your video, guys. It's pretty simple. I've had this for a while. I just haven't done a video. I have the opportunity to do it to Project New York, and I figured to make a video for you guys. Until next time, peace. Oh. <laughs>